Taker and Ben 999. And ben getting the 3 0 on Mile. What That's an amazing. That's an amazing One, win for Ben. Go! But this is going to be Ben versus Stock Taker, the Long Island. I guess, I mean, they both are the sound from Long Island. They have quite a bit of experience fighting each other. And that is where you see that experience come into play. Stock Taker was like, do it. You won't. Do it. You won't mash down beat. And guess what? He mashed down beat. But you know, he just got 74 off of one like one opening, so you you really can't keep out Lu uh, keep count count out Luigi as the main game is to keep him out as we see, as we see Stocktaker keep trying to do that, but Getting a little bit of luck fire, definitely helping him out and just recovering a little bit faster. You see Stocktaker not even choosing to challenge him off stage. What a fantastic back here. Perfect zone. There is active for what feels like forever, but I think it's actually I like can get you 30 the sauce frames. On that. Not just 30, 50 frames. 50 frames. Yes. Wild. Wait, I might be capping. Hold on. Oh, okay. I'm gonna I'm gonna quickly fat check bro, this. Bro, please. As we see the Luigi landing Luigi Psycho and sending him way off the top. And that's like the oh okay. He just went for the fair. Good guy up on the down throw. Uh, so the main struggle that comes with playing Luigi, playing against Luigi as a character like Wolf or Fox yeah. or any sort of character that does like that wants to CQC and box yeah. with you, uh, it's really hard to to make sure everything is safe so you don't get grabbed at zero. As we see the Zare come through and through and through. And so just to give you guys a little bit of that sauce on the Zare, first of all, what an amazing drift back to make sure he's going to be out of grab range. But to give you guys a little bit of sauce on Zare. Um, it is active between 14 and 68, making it a total, like, active of 52... 54 frames. 14 wait, 50, and 68, 54 yeah, frames. 54 frames, yep. So, which is genuinely Damn. absolutely nuts. Like, just, like, considering how non-committal the move it is, the down beat, not quite enough to hit it. It does have a lot of set knockback, so if it was just maybe even at an earlier percent, if he was up a little bit farther up. That would have um, definitely taken it out. Speaking of set and knockback, uh, Luigi's, like, despite every, the, all the infamy around his down throw, Luigi's back throw, one of the sh strongest in the game, yes, like, able to take stocks incredibly early, even from like, closer to mid stage. And he's going to get the. What if, first of all, what if you pivot grab backwards? And from a single Maybe. grab exchange, he dealt 72%. He had the parry, he had the idea. Unfortunately, his spacing was ever so slightly off. Stock Taker remaining vigilant as always, ready to punish that uh, really hasty get up with a dash attack. Trying yeah. to go for it again. Quinset just crossing up Luigi, able to get the back field, but not killing quite yet. Good job of saving his jump as, we, as Stock Taker didn't get quite the hit that he wanted. Oh, that's and that is going to be the down throw into down B, not oh, I quite thought yet. He I thought he would have would have gone for the up B there, but well, that'll work too. Never mind. I'm a liar. Oh my gosh. There it is. <laughs> As we see Stock Taker stand up, do a little stretch, talk to his opponent. I always like that when when it comes to players like getting like they, they're not just like rooted to their chair. They're trying to flex. They're trying to keep loose. They're trying to keep their mind active and not just wallowing as they sit, but rather stretch their mind and try and think of the potential solutions because this is a long set. Absolutely. We fit Rainer. And he's going to be opting for refit, and I think that's, that's a, a much better choice than Wolf because Wolf operates really close, really personal. If Luigi's up close and personal, that's what he wants to be. He wants to scrap with you. Um, and I feel like Soktiku is just able to really slow it down as uh, refit played a little bit more defensively, played back just ever so slightly. And you already see it working out for him. He's already at a 56% lead, but Ben is able to land by throwing out the downbeat. All right, so riddle me this. If Luigi's there is active for 54 frames, what a challenge, by the way. Uh, if Luigi's there is active for 54 frames, how active is volleyball? I mean, it's a projectile. That's the difference. So it's very difficult like to say how active a, project a, a projectile is because Luigi's there is not a projectile. It's just a falling hitbox. Isn't a projectile? I, thought, I just figured it nope. was one. Can't be like pocketed, can't be reflected. It's just a hitbox. Ah, okay, so it's just it just is treated as a disjoint. That's yep. interesting to say the least. As he powers right through the sun salutation. All right, good, good on him. Like, okay, so this stage is a double-edged sword because I know from at least a bunch of Luigi mains in New Jersey that this is one of Luigi's best stages. Yeah, it seems inherently contradictory because Luigi's main kill tools are all vertical and this is, has the highest ceiling. So why wouldn't you want to go to Town and City, especially since it offers a variety of platform layouts? Yep. 
though. But with the times it just kind of spends that F on as FD, in addition to the increased height that you can get from the platform layout that is coming up right about now. And I'm not entirely sure about the intention behind the pummel there once he landed the grab. Uh, maybe that was a bit of an innocent, but because Rita was at 0% and she was grabbed, that could have been that could have been a sock, but he's able to get the sail into the grab, the down air into the reverse, Good the reverse box of the down air and back air. Feeling so much damage. Like, ugh. It's like, you don't want to be in the airspace of Luigi either, because his forward air is like such a strong call out. Ooh, trying to get the roll lead with the up smash, but we stop Ticker not being able to punish it in time either. Crap, what I like seeing Stop Taker adapt to is when he's moving in close quarters, he's crouch walking as to avoid any sort because I mean like we fit stands up with perfect posture, so it's easy it's easier to hit oh he missed. That sucks. But it's uh, easy for it. Luigi to hit a rising fair on a tall Wii Fit, but with, since Wii Fit has a, one of the best crouches in the game, it minimizes that hitbox so much, yep. forcing him to almost entirely rely on Zare. Yeah. And like, you just see Ben trying to land aggressively multiple times with the neutral air. That's not something you want to contest on Wii Fit. The spot dodge still lasting long enough to be able to avoid the up there. Down tilt. Not taking it yet. I feel like an F tilt would have been a little bit more appropriate, especially considering it covers more options. But he seems very keen on the down tilts. Thank you, Dill. Shout out to Dill. Shout out to Dill for providing us with hydration. But. Water. Hello. Uh, but I don't think, in, in taking off what, you, <laughs> what you're saying, um, F tilt don't, doesn't hit ledge while down tilt does. So, in ledge. order to. He's at 180. He doesn't have a lot of invincibility at this point. And that uh -oh. is a grab. Uh-oh. Uh-oh. Uh -oh. Oh, good SDI on all of those hits in order to make, make it hard, not only hard, but also for Luigi to get that full zero to death. And Luigi's at 180%, meaning one that parry, is. but the falling up there more than enough to take it, especially it's when you have deep breathing active. Look, you're dead. You, you just you, you're, you're dead. Yeah. 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 Let's try has, it both of these characters, like they play, they play a soft neutral. They don't try and interact with a lot of just hard button commits. But when they get you, they open you up like a can. Like they, yep. they pop you open and spill the beans and also your liver. <laughs> <laughs> so, I don't know. Just I really appreciate any food analogies. So just just the mental imagery of I don't know a can of beans being opened. For whatever reason, has a really good comedic value, and I just want to uh, just tell you how much I appreciate your joke because I feel like other people will will sneer at it. And I just want to tell you, man. I I if there is a person who'd appreciate something like that, it's me. Black or pinto? Black uh, beans always. Okay. I'm, I'm, Wise choice. Yeah, I'm not. I'm not a fan of pinto beans. But jumping into the set so far, we, we, um, we're going to be going to Yoshi's Story, and I actually have an idea why he might have wanted to go to Yoshi's Story instead of something like Battlefield, um, and that's because you are able to get two frames a lot easier on slant stages, so like uh, Yoshi's or Lilac. Okay, and that makes sense because he's been going for like Luigi's down tilt is incredibly safe overall. It's like minus two or something. It's yes. so safe. So he's able just to continuously poke, and with the added slant that gives him a little bit more range. Plus with these smaller blast zones, that makes uh, Luigi's kill tools just a little bit kill a little bit earlier, despite the uh, issues with the angle, the knockback angle of the up smash. Yeah. And I would like to see Stock Ticker maybe perhaps contest Ben a little bit off stage, just because like, okay, that's the grab. He's gonna be asked. Oh, mixed. What? I don't believe. I have no idea how Luigi got those. I'm just not even gonna try to pretend to know. I know about this. He didn't get it. Oops. He got 34 yeah. percent. Happens. Oftentimes, what you're trying to, because Luigi off a of down throw, the combo is theoretically true, but Luigi has to position to follow DI. And yeah. what you're doing is you're, SDI, you're mixing up your SDI, whether it be uh, forward or backwards, so that you land either in front of or behind Luigi and force him to miss space into the sour spot of down air. Yep. Uh, he was trying to get something with the forward air there. That could have been really bad, but the, the Luigi missile, I believe that's what it's called, knocking back the soccer ball all the way to uh, stock ticket. Yeah. That, I don't know when it happened, but deep breathing, so whatever. Uh, he was at like 130 in a blink of an eye. <laughs> and he had the right idea with uh, with like the dash dancing, but not able to connect what he wanted to do. 
good a good chasing back air. You don't see Luigi chase with any of any of its aerials a lot. He's keeping he's keeping him at a at a distance to where the aerial is both safe and like rising because he's trying to fade both he's trying to fade back with it. He's not pushing forward as much. So when you see Luigi chase with a chase with an aerial, it is indeed a mix up. This ball spike coming through. And like again, like oh, as you mentioned, like Stock Tick is doing a great job of low profiling under um under like a lot of Luigi's rising aerials. What a fantastic backfield killing at 118 percent. Um neutral get up to grab. So I have, I have a friend at home, um uh, his name his tag is Rush and his classic is neutral get up grab. That's all he does. Oh my god, and Ben has just brought it all the way back despite being at a hundred can, can we get a replay on that death? Can, can, can we hit us with that replay because this is one 150 to zero if so I'm allowed to So He gets round. back off of ledge, ca ca calls out the spot dodge with the grab, and he's at 146%. You oh, see the great. anticipation building on Ben's face. He knows what is to come, and that is the up B. Killing him so early. Oh my god, Luigi is what? absolutely nuts. With the rage as well, that's that's definitely uh, that's definitely dead. And not only did that pivot grab, it was safe, called out the spot dodge, and gave him enough space to execute the combo in the first place. It's like the grab Phenomenal. is perfectly like the longest reach of the grab. Just like is like I don't know. I feel like it's like a natural indicator of how far you can go, almost with with your with your um, zero to death. But Stocksticker opting for the villager switch. That's already the third character he's pulling out of the set. Yeah, I, I mean your back's against the wall. Back to the back to the old main, the character that at least in Smash Four got him got him definitely known, at least to me. Absolutely. And, you know, this, and people nowadays forget that he's a villager player. But uh, so smart to just get up attack through that. But you cannot get up attack if he has a tree active because the um, the bowling ball will get an extension on the tree. So you'll be hitting the tree and then the bowling ball will drop on your face. Okay. So really important that you're wary of that. But Toxic, of course, does not have any nature planted. That was so good. He had, he had the Lloyd Rocket at jump height and he sling and as he went low, he put the slingshot, forcing jump and into right into that Lloyd Rocket. Yeah. So good. Not much else he could have done though. Great down B coming from uh, coming from Ben. All right now Ben, he just needs to close out the stock because the way that Villager plays is like so uber defensively. Villager is going to be holding onto this for a very, very long time. That is the down through into the down B. We are on Town and City. The ceiling is so incredibly high. That's not going to kill quite yet. Yeah, it's really hard as a character like Luigi who doesn't really throw out a lot of like long lasting hitbox or. Like he has his fireball, but it doesn't really contest well with the onslaught of villagers' uh, variable use of projectiles. But it, we just gonna have a hard time dealing with uh, the slingshot and and just how annoying yes. it is. But as you saw right there, just for a moment, you could see the common counterplay that a, that characters usually go for, which is just crouching mm -hmm. and making you yourself as small as possible. As villager can't really do anything about that. And I just want to say, what a beautiful recovery from um, from Ben there. Just to be able to recover from so deep. <gasps> he was... Okay, that is really, really good. Of course, once you parry a multi-hitting move, especially like Villager's, uh, Luigi's down B, like, <gasps> ah, he dipped a little bit too low. And that is where Stock Ticker is actually going to be getting the most out of this character, the, the, um, the bowling balls, just because Luigi's a character that's forced to always recover really, really low um, from the same angle. So, bowling ball is not something you can really scrap with at all. Quick little, quick rapid jab. I believe that jab is frame two, but I could be mistaken. I'm getting the misfire again. And there's so much base knockback on the actual slingshot part of the hitbox and not the projectile that it is throwing. Mm. Like It can lead to some really uh, interesting situations, including just straight up depth sometimes, especially on a stage like Town and City, with such sides, small side blast zones. And he just has to make sure he's not spending too much time off stage so that he allows Stock Taker to set up the bowling ball. That is the number one game plan for when he's off stage. That's going to be the back through from Villager, still just as potent.
Um, yeah, Village of Backfield, not something to sleep on. It's what the character is going to be looking out for at 134%. Uh, yeah. That is that percent. With a character that conditions shield so uh, as well as Villager does with like, Slingshot and Void Rocket and even Tree if you're feeling really uh, ballsy with, with your shield, then uh, that, that big old fishing net will come through and either combo with down throw or... Get you out, get you out of there with uh, with back throw or forward throw. The forward throw will never kill, will rarely kill. Uh, but the villager was definitely a, a solid pick because, as you could see with Ben 99's point style, he's looking for that grab as he comes off of ledge and as he's just existing in neutral. But like, villager doesn't play at grab range. He's not using that fishing net unless he has proper conditioning. Yep. And so you're not you're not playing at the range where Luigi can get that grab. And, and that yeah. is something that you have to be so wary of when you're fighting Villager as well. Uh, bowling ball is actually pretty safe on shield. So you, you like you might like like be suspicious of a smash directly on your shield like that. But it has so much shield stun making it really safe. And also I want to just commend Ben's choice of going to FD here. Because the issue with, is on stages with either flat sides or on stages with like no sides at all, like Smash for like Town and City, you will always recover from the same angle with like Luigi's up B, right? And that'll be directly up. There is nothing to slide on. But on Battlefield, on Final Destination, you'll be able to slide up uh, diagonally on the uh, on the stage. That makes sense. So like, you see him. He's able to go uh, like under the bowling ball, and because he is airborne, he did not get buried. That'll do it. He evaporated. Wow. But th this is generally considered, I, by most of Luigi mains I've talked to, his best stage. There's so much space for you to execute any of your combos. And yep. Just like you're able to chase down in the air so effectively. But how do you do that against a character who? He's throwing everything at you in the air and yep. has one of the, like, has a frame three combo breaker that he just throws out. And Luigi has, like, one of the worst, like, air games in the entire cast. Getting the down throw into the down B, of course. Not killing unless you die the wrong way. What a tag! What a beautiful tag! What a tag! <laughs> just, like, excellent stuff from Sachin with the up smash killing him. And right now, this is, is I hate to say how scary this it's is even. For, for stock taker. Just because one grab. It wasn't even. Uh, it was even until he hit him with the fair nair. Then it became stock ticker's favor. Uh, interesting how dynamics work and how like different of a game playing against like characters like the Ouija, Little Mac, and Snake. Yeah. Like they're not playing traditional Smash Brothers. They're playing their own like they're warped you version to play of the it. game plan. But also, I just want to make note of right now of a little habit that I noticed from Ben. Whenever Stock Taker comes with like a rising aerial that didn't connect like an up or, like an up air or a neutral air, you always see him the bench try to go for a dash back pivot grab almost every single time without fail. So he just has to be that's just something to be attentive of. Like if he's doing it, I mean he hasn't gotten particularly punished for it, as long as he's aware of the fact that he's doing it and can break it at any time. That's true. You leave you leave the, the worst habits to be punished for the last dock. Yep. Uh, he Unable went to for connect it. The, but the tree actually working out in his favor, I believe. Yeah, really from what stuff. I saw, the downer hit the tree first and stalled time for just a little bit. 160 now, and this is one of the things that Villager has been known to struggle with oh a little bit God. is finding the kill despite now, how long he can keep it. Not him only out. does Luigi have a stock advantage, is what I would say past tense. But he's winning. Uh oh. But he's winning right now. Until until, until Stock Taker takes about like 25%, Luigi is in the lead. Yep. And until Luigi maybe gets about like 70% of rage, that's when it can get difficult to execute as well. But 32%, rage is barely a mechanic right now. He's yeah. looking for it. He's looking for it. Uh oh. Still at zero. Now we, we don't want, we don't want to have Ben like really push his. And that is a pivot grab. He but he didn't go for it. He won percent. You know what? He evened it up. He evened it up. That's just as good. And it's not just as good, but it's it's still pretty good. Granted, <gasps> what? What a neutral, what a call out. Uh, like, I know you buffered this. Like, you're Luigi. You buffered this and you're going, you're buffering that and grab. That is what you're doing right now. Here's a bowling yeah. ball. I'm just. Four toes. Ah, he took stock to go to game five. That's a, that's a, that's a hard one, but that is, that yeah. is where Ben 999's run is going to end. But I think Ben 99 had an amazing bracket run as well. 
he got some upsets, he got some wins, I believe. If we are to check uh, the wins that he got in pools B1, he made it out winning side in his pool, um, but then uh, getting knocked to losers by Vivi. That's, he must have beaten someone. He beat PC Ninja. He beat PC Ninja, but then he also beat Dark Blues. That's which a good is, one. Yep, that's a fantastic one. And that's... Okay, I guess that's it, but... Anyways, I think this was a great showing from Ben. Yeah. Seven, uh, a seventh placing in the Xena Saga is nothing, nothing to sneeze at, and it's a, it's his second seventh placing. So the first one is far from a fluke. Yep, and also I just think it's a little bit surprising just how far the um, 